the gear. That's cool. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. My name is Damon Fryer. We're inside the DDHQ. I got Dave over my shoulder. Dave, say what's up. What's up guys? So today's gonna be a fun video. Um, more protective coating for the Huracan. Now, it's already vinyl wrapped. Some of you might know. What is the next step after vinyl wrapping? Well, you can actually put a ceramic coating over the entire wrap, which will essentially seal in that beautiful gloss that we have on the car. It'll stop the, the, the lighter shades, like the white, for example, from discoloring. I had that issue actually on my old Ferrari 458. The entire back end of the car, actually the Scud, I'll use the Scud as an example. See how you have all this beautiful white? Well, you have a lot of heat and you have a lot of exhaust fumes coming from right here from the tips um, and also all this dirt. And you see how I can wipe that and it's just totally pure white underneath there? Well, that's because this car's already been ceramic coated over top of the vinyl. Now we wanna do the exact same thing to the Huracan. The Huracan does have a gloss finish opposed to the satin, but that's okay. You can do any type of vinyl finish and you can do all types of surfaces. So you can do plastics, you can do uh, the wheels, you can even do interior parts if you want, like um, cloth and things of that nature. So we have hey. Alex here from Australia, right? Yep, Sydney City. Sydney, the and heart. you've just moved back to uh, Canada. Yeah, yeah we um, went over to um, Defrost and then we came back over. The family oh. missed it and yeah, brought the business with me too. Only person on Vancouver Island who does the Ceramic Pro treatment. We've partnered up to do the Huracan and make sure we seal in all the goodness now that it's just been wrapped. It has brand new wheels before any damage can occur. So he's gonna kind of walk us through some of the steps that he goes through while he does the car. We won't get too much in his way. We'll have a bit of fun with it. You guys will learn something and definitely a cool looking car yeah, when it's done. For sure. So what's step number one? Wash it. Okay. This is already washed. Yes. So more or less, I uh, will just go over it with some panel wipe. Dust it, yeah, in a sense. Quick thing we were talking about previously was once you do yeah. this, it's very hydrophobic. Oh, so yeah. it's gonna repel water. Yep. And it'll even, if you put this on a surface, you essentially couldn't even stick a decal on no. it afterwards. Nothing will adhere to it. So we were, coated, yeah. we're not gonna coat the glass. You can do the glass, but we're not gonna coat the glass because I do put decals on there. But essentially the cool thing is, is uh, all of the current sponsors logos are already on the car. So he's just gonna go over them and we'll be good to go. Cool. Get the process started. Sure all right, brother. What's the product? So this is Ceramic Pro, PPF and vinyl, especially made for all your wraps, all your PPF protection. So you can add more protection to your protection, cool. more or less. And yeah, let's let's go through the first step. So I've already primed and juiced up the pad, so I don't need too much. And so when you're applying this? I finish, how I apply it, I put it on zigzag a little bit, just to spread it around, but I always finish the way that the panel's going. Interesting. How many hours will it take to do this process because people are going to watch an edited video that'll be a fraction of the amount of time we've spent here this evening you're looking at two days so more or less you're looking at 24 hours for a wrapped car due to the fact that i don't have to essentially get the detailing machine out and spend hours and hours correcting the paintwork right so more or less i just wash this give it a massive decontamination getting all the oils and the iron and all that carbon off it and then prep it and then more or less coat it. Very cool. There's two coats in this process. There is two coats. So what we're applying now is the hard bottom base layer, the 9H. Excellent. But now what this is doing, it's slowly bonding to the surface. Okay. So I've got to let it sit for a couple of minutes. Depending on the weather, depending on humidity, sometimes I might have to apply it and then instantly remove it, but we're in a pretty good climate. So I can let it sit for about a minute and then I'm more or less leveling it out and removing the resin and mm. it's bonded. Depending on if I'm using it on, say for instance, a black Lexus, I'm gonna have to use the best and the most plush towel because they're super soft. So depending on what you're working with is what sort of towels you're using. Okay. Alex, 
Alex. So we've done essentially 90% of the car. 90% of the car. So yeah. all of the, I guess you could call it wrapped camo gray surfaces yeah. are done. Yep. What's next? What's next? We'll do the carbon fiber, headlights, tail lights, just all the plastics. And then we'll do the multi million spokes on the rims. Yeah, those wheels, when I got yeah. them, I was like, they're, they're really cool, cool but uh, they're going to be a spokes. Yeah, so this is what's cool. Once it's ceramic coated, I can like take um, a pressure washer and the dirt will just fall off of the wheel. It's that easy, opposed to me having to get scrubbing it us and scrub it and yeah, yeah. so it's gonna so it's be it's not a, bonding it's just resting exactly so it's yeah a light a light pressure wash sometimes if you don't do it regularly you will need to wash oh, it by yeah, hand a little bit. and agitate it but if you keep on top of it once a week man you'll be fine cool i did the course with and they do helicopters and airplanes. Yeah. And they've never done the blades of a helicopter until um, I think it was two or three months ago. And the bloke that's always got it done, he um, he's like, hey, can you do my my blades? And they did it, and he noticed like a 90% a drop in vibration on his stick. Really? Because nothing was bonding to it. All right, guys, Alex is all finished. We've got the, what do you call this? The first coat? Duh. First, 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 yeah, first let's, two. I'm looking, for, I'm, I'm looking for a real technical term yeah. here to sound smart in front of my audience. So more or less just the first base layer and then tomorrow we'll finish with the top coat and we can drive it. Awesome, it. that's right. Cool, thank Local. you. Local, yeah. get something, uh, something cool in. A little different. Yeah, right? it's, a, it's not your average car. No? No. I just saw like 10 of them driving around. <laughs> I was just, can you imagine? I always said, can you imagine if the world yeah. was just all supercars? Yeah, and the odd car was. Like the special the car? Yeah. <laughs> Do a quick once over of the car and how it looks because it's definitely looking a lot glossier and the carbon especially. Oh, yeah. Like look at the way it's looking with the light. Check That's this great. out, come on, check this out. So right here, right away, already the car's looking ultra glossy. It's just got this really cool wet effect, but the carbon, Look at the carbon, you guys. Look how sick those fenders look. I mean, and these are beat to hell. Yeah. Like I've been driving this car in all sorts of conditions over the last year. What? Oh yeah, I'm a full on snow plow right now. <laughs> and you totally just revitalized the way that carbon looks. Welcome back to day two of the ceramic coating process. We're gonna meet Alex at the DDE garage and we're gonna get from, we did base coat yesterday, today's the top coat. Top coat is the super hydrophobic coat. It's the coat that's gonna make dirt just melt off of the car. And that's the best part about it for me. I mean, it gives an extra layer of protection, but more importantly, it's gonna make it super easy to maintain, especially those wheels. I know that ceramic brakes don't give off a lot of brake dust, but we do pick up a lot of dirt grime, road tar, things of that nature, and this is gonna help it so that none of that stuff sticks to those spokes. There's a lot of spokes, so the easier they are to clean, the better it is for me. Let's, over to the, let's head over to the garage. And here we are. Get that door open. Day two, day two. So we're, we did the base coat and now we're gonna do the top coat. And uh, yeah, kind of basically the same process as yeah, yesterday. Fairly straightforward. Well, um, you're setting up here. Just high performance lights, your towels, and of course an extension cord and yeah, your products. 
just try and make it neat so you're not bringing in a thousand bags. So it's pretty mobile. Yeah, that's it. It really is, especially on clean cars already. Like a lot of it I can work out of the car, just back the car straight up, have everything in the car. But doing cars like this, it's great. It's so small, the stuff that I need to bring. Someone wanting to book with you mm -hmm. and you're mobile, yeah. right? What type of garage conditions would you require someone to have? Um, it needs to be clean. It can't be a carport. It has to be enclosed, clean and well lit. Because if temp? It's, yeah, and good temperature because if it's too cold, like it's just going to affect it, especially applying, it's going to take, you know, well, it's going to be a much longer process. And right. if it's a dirty place, like you can't, you, we can't do it. You don't want dust no. and all that. I don't want dirt. We don't want dust. We don't want animals walking over it. Could you travel, let's say on the islands, let's say if someone was living, what, Comox, would you go that far? Yeah, Courtney. Courtney's probably the furthest I would go. From Victoria? Yeah, from Victoria. And then trips to the mainland, if someone was willing to cover maybe the ferry cost? Yeah, uh, if you know, if you got multiple cars that I can do, Even make better. it worthwhile, yeah, I can. Perfect, there you go guys. A little more info on Alex and his services. We'll let you do your setup, cool. and I'll do my thing. I'll, I don't know, talk to you guys. Talk to you guys. So by the way, how are you guys doing today? You having a good day? I'm having an awesome day. We have some seriously beautiful weather here on the West Coast. Um, Shout out to my boy Anthony out on, it's not the East Coast. I, I do get uh, corrected for that in the comments sometimes when I say the East Coast and I'm talking about Toronto. Sorry, it's significantly more East from where we are because we're on the West Coast, but it is not considered the East Coast. So shout out to Anthony, he's from Toronto. He just got a, a Porsche uh, 911 C4S, beautiful car. He is going to be modifying that car. We're gonna be helping, I'm gonna be helping specifically with some uh, input on the design hopefully with the wrap with the wheels and make something really epic for his mad whips business um that is going to get a ton of attention just like our cars do vorsteiner killed it with this body kit by the way the louvered fenders i mean just sets this car off gives it that race car look super aggressive front end even more aggressive if it's chewed to shit. um i do apologize to some of the people who are mad at me right now? I know you're mad that I haven't changed the front bumper or the rear diffuser because that's the old smash diffuser sitting up there. I have plans. I have a vision. Just bear with me. I don't do it all in one go or else like what other, what other videos would I make on my island? I don't have a lot of content here. So I do stretch out some of the build process, but there is plans. There are plans. The rear has a purpose that the diffuser is no longer there and it's not going back on. Um, by the way, that diffuser is not separate. It cracked um, when I destroyed it. It's one piece. Vorsteiner makes essentially this whole piece and that diffuser was all attached. And if you didn't see my video, I had to take an angle grinder and cut it out along this line, all along here, all along here. And ironically, it turned out really uh, symmetrical and even, luckily for me, or else I would have had to completely uh, replace that but there is a big wing coming and it's chassis mount so that that's a hint that not having anything here is very important because we're gonna well we're gonna need to mount the wing from down here that's all i'm gonna say about that we'll let a alex get to his magic Oh, you guys look at how this is turning out now the best part is is as it cures over the next 24 to 48 hours it's only going to get glossier it's going to get more of a reflection from the light it's just going to get better and better where alex is right now working he's working on this carbon bit what's left of the carbon <laughs> of the rear diffuser and bumper but i mean you guys have seen me beat on this stuff up in the mountains and in the snow and look at it Look at the shine on that he's got. So after this, we're gonna get down and dirty with the wheels. We're gonna do the, the finishing coat on the wheels and that's gonna be it. This is the vinyl wrap package and you're looking at $8.99 plus GST. This is for the small vehicle. The bigger the vehicle gets, the price does jump up right, a bit more. Right, because it's all based on how much product you have to go through um, on the surface. Yeah. Excellent. Paint. Correction, what is the starting price and how far up can starting you go? Starting price starts at $6.99 plus GST and it can go all the way up to two grand. Two grand? Yeah. Cool. Uh, difference is more layers. 
So when you're looking at the 699, you're only getting a single layer on your paint. When yep. you're going up to the two gram packages, you're looking at five to six layers. And how does that differ? Uh, what protection wise? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot harder. It's So you're adding more 9H layers, so it is harder to scratch. And also the look. Like you get a deeper... Yeah, you get a better clarity, right. more sharpness. There's a lifetime warranty, right? Yeah. Yeah, so with the three packages, you got bronze is two year, silver is five, and gold is lifetime. That's unreal. Yep. So the product speaks for itself. Oh yeah. I want you guys to have some sort of expectation of like, okay, I want to get my car done, but am I paying 600 bucks or am I paying $2,000? Of course, that is up to you. You can do whatever you want, but at least you now know like an, an expectation. I think too many people think that this is just like something you whip together. Yeah, some, some people come, they think it's done in half an hour. Right, that the, and that's what I don't want people to expect mm. is you're just gonna pull up and say to Alex, hey, uh, yeah, let's, let's whip this up. I'll just grab a burrito down the road and I'll be back. Um, doesn't work like that. Good, informative. We're trying to make this a more informative video so you guys educate. educate, yeah, educate people on what you can do to make your vehicle last longer, look better, all that kind of cool stuff. Yeah. And boy, I mean, this thing's looking sick, bro. It's looking unreal. As I move around, just the way that the light comes off of that vinyl now. Why did you go? Why did you have to turn into a liar? Into a liar. All right, wheels, walk us through this. So this is, uh, this is a different product, right? Yeah, this is <clears throat> strumming light. So the top coat for the paint. Ah, got you. So what's the method to the madness when you're coating? How do you, I mean, how do you start in one place and remember like, oh, I already went there. I'd, I'd have a hard time doing that. Easy example on a rim, I start with a valvis and you work your way around like a clock. Ah, basically wiping the surface in its entirety a couple of times. Yeah. And it's bonding immediately. Like you said yesterday, you said it's immediately bonding. Yeah, once it's on the surface, like it, start, it just started to bond and then it starts to cure. Excellent. So once it's on, it's on. I don't know if anybody really knows this, but ceramic brakes don't give off. I shouldn't say any brake dust, but it's like virtually none. And so the wheels just look cleaner all the time. You don't get that, you know, that kind of bronze haze over a wheel that you would see on a steel brake. If you have steel brakes, this is like a no brainer. If you have a tuner car or a car that you care about, even if it's beautiful stock wheels, a lot of manufacturers now make really nice stock wheels. In fact, my Lamborghini 20 inch black wheels are beautiful wheels. To treat them or, and install Ceramic Pro on them makes it so much easier for that maintenance, the cleaning. It's a, that's a real big one. So there you go. That's, that's my advice. At, at a minimum, let's say you didn't even want to do your whole car. I would, I would call you just to do wheels. Yeah, we do. Uh, just, 349. yes. 349, all four? Plus your spare. You that's cool. That's the way to do it. There she is, all done. We've got 24 hours to let it cure up and uh, then we can splash some water on it, show you how hydrophobic it is. It's gonna go into a trailer and get some more stuff done um, down south. So in the meantime, I wanted to get it done while it was just wrapped and the wheels just went on. Thanks again, sir. Thank you very much. I got all of his information in the description below. So if you're anywhere in Western Canada and you want to get your car done, or even just want to inquire about the process or, or your specific vehicle, because you might not have a wrap, you might have paint, you might have paint correction you need to have done. Um, every vehicle is in different condition. So if you have questions, you want to talk to this gentleman, everything's in the description. Already how much shinier and the reflection we're getting. And we're gonna get even more as this cures over the next 24 hours. It's looking fantastic, my friend. This is a unreal job. Thank you for coming over. Stick around, more adventures.